System software are the programs designed to maintain the computer system. One type of system software is utility software. Utility software carries out the configuration and maintenance tasks. Some tasks carried out by utility software include backups. This creates a copy of files and programs in case all files get lost. Backups usually happen automatically but can be set by a user as well. Defragmentation Some systems just store data in whatever free space is available. This means data from one thing is spread out throughout the disk. It is fragmented. Defragmentation reorders the fragments to make sure they are in the right sequence. Compression This reduces the file size, making it easier to transfer and clear space. Compression utilities also provide the function of decompressing to allow the files to be opened and read again. Formatting Where a disk is prepared for its first use, or if it's already used, it makes everything on it unreadable or maybe even deletes everything. The operating system of any computer allows the user to control the computer's hardware. There are two types of operating systems. Single use operating system where the operating system allows usage for one user or one account. So it's mostly found in houses and personal laptops. Network operating system allows many users, including other functionality like login, separating user accounts, and providing access to network storage and shared resources. Some features of an operating system include memory management. The OS allocates the RAM to each application and makes sure that when an application is done, that space is made free again. It also manages the virtual memory. Security. The operating system uses authentication to, by allowing password loggings, biometric scanners, or PAC. It also sometimes provides firewalls to prevent remotely accessing network data. Resource Management The OS manages graphic cards, processors, printers, and other resources. This makes sure that each software gets access to the required resource when needed and if the resource is already in use, puts the application in a queue. Print spooling. When multiple pages must be printed, the computer will keep the necessary pages in line faster than the printer. 